Okay, so after a few years, I'm actually going back to the X299 Dark from EVGA with my legendary 7900X CPU, which was by far my best X299 CPU. I'm actually aiming for the top score in Y Cruncer 1 billion in the 10 core category. X299 platform is still the fastest platform in that benchmark because of quad channel memory. So, uh, obviously, with the other core counts, the new Xeon platform from Intel is obviously taking over, but with the uh, quad channel memory, the 7900X or 10900X is still the fastest CPU uh, in Y Cruncher 1 billion. So it's AVX 512, 4 sticks of G Skill Dryden Z memory, and uh, Kimbin Gooling T Rex container, KPX Femo Paste, Super Flower Lidex 8 pack, 2000 watt platinum power supply. I'm actually already in the uh, uh, OS at minus 70. I will try to run this and I will show you all the details with the capture card once again. So let's see what happens. Closing in, I guess. Okay, that's finally the rank 2 score, but I'm still quite a bit behind rank 1, but I'm working on it. At least I got this thing working. Memory is the key factor, CPU doesn't matter that much. Top score is just below 20 seconds, 19.94. Okay, this is 3800 on the memory. Okay, so, so it's quite tricky. Close, close, close.
Mm, 18 degrees Celsius, that's, that's actually pretty interesting value over there. Okay, that's the new rank one score in Vikranser 1 billion. 19. 932. So, 19932 previous top score by AKM from the United States at 1941. 19, so, 9 millisecond improvement over there, so it's pretty good, I guess. And okay, that's pretty much it. I actually ended up changing the memory configuration a little bit, so I changed those uh, sticks with those custom uh, copper heatsinks from Barx to those white Trident Z uh, uh, sticks, and I managed to get pretty nice memory frequency towards the end, like between DDR4 3800 and 3900, which is a very good result in white runter 1 billion with X299 platform. I tried 4000 but it doesn't really want to run but that's kind of obvious if you ask me. So uh, this is pretty much it. So I managed to improve the top score in Y Cruncher 1 billion in the 10 core category by a little bit. It's obviously a big question mark like how long will this platform still dominate that benchmark in the 10 core category. We'll see when we get some better 10 core CPUs out on the market but that will happen in the future anyway so uh, pretty happy this is definitely probably the last like record score for EVGA X299 Dark and it's quite uh, symbolic for me because this is actually the first motherboard I got as a sample from EVGA like maybe like five and a half years ago close to six years ago so it's a very big thing for me now that EVGA is pretty much leaving the uh, high-end PC market like high-end PC component market at least for now so uh, this is the board Kimpin sent me between five and six years ago and it's still in very good condition and it was awesome to break at least one remaining top score with this particular motherboard. board the 7900X which uh, I got from Kimpin is absolutely a monster surprisingly it cannot actually run much higher than 5.4 in Y Cruncher 1 billion with AVX512 instruction sets, but that's kind of obvious because the heat load is just so insane. Uh, Benchmate is actually reading positive temperatures even when the container is below 100 degrees Celsius, minus that, that is, I mean. So, uh, yeah, the heat load is pretty intense, so it's much higher than anything like Citibench R15, R20, or Geekbench 3. But yeah, so uh, pretty happy and we'll see how long these runs will last on the leaderboard at rank 1 I mean. There's definitely some more remaining, trust me, but that will be for the next time. So if you like to see probably the last remaining top score from the EVGA X299 Dark, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah. Thanks for watching one of my videos once again, and I will see you on the next one.